Well, I started writing uh, songs and music when I was 14 years old. That's when I wrote my first song. Um, I had a recording deal with a friend of mine in, in my 20s. Um, and I have been privileged over the years to work with some of the, I think, uh, the greatest uh, R&B producers that have ever come out of the UK. Um, it's been a real privilege and a blessing. But I took a break from music for a number of years um, when I found faith and uh, spent a number of years um, in the faith world as a TV presenter, as a pastor, doing many things. And then, you know, lockdown came along, um, coronavirus, um, and it was during the period of coronavirus that um, I started to reconsider um, music and the role that it plays in my life. And I actually had an inspiration. I was in my garage, uh, where, which is where I tend to play my music because I can't play it loud in the apartment. I live in Spain in a, in a, in a condo apartment. And I was listening to one of my songs and I felt like, I'll go, up, I'll go up to the studio and I'll, I'll, I'll do this song, I'll work on this song. So when I got up and got in front of my PC and started putting the track together, I found myself just literally changing my mind about what the song was saying and whether I wanted to do it at all. I started reflecting on the, the murder of George Floyd and, and how it sparked a whole generation of people um, with this whole Black Lives Matter movement and so on and so forth. And I started thinking about a message, a message that might be able to change that situation. And so it was in that attitude that one day was born. The funny thing was, I didn't, the, the song came from my subconscious because it you listen to the lyrics, it says things like, um, you know, he made the world, he being God, for you and me, everyone is unique, and he values every life highly, so should we. And the funny thing was I wrote those words, really not thinking about, you know, if you go on social media, you can see people saying, well, all lives matter, and so on and so forth. I wasn't actually thinking about that. I was just thinking about the creator and the way he made the world. But then I suddenly realized it, it, it matches, what, what I've written matches perfectly with what people were saying worldwide. And then I thought there's something in this. And then I, I began to think about Dr. Martin Luther King and, and his message and, and went online and had to listen to some speeches and then I heard this word just jump out of one of the speeches and it was of course most famous speech which was um, the I have a dream speech but rather than seeing the words I have a dream as the focus I saw the connection with the word one day and that was really fascinating for me because the song had been born out of a subliminal message, probably placed there when I was a child, listening to uh, Dr. King speak. 